Okay, it should be. This is a little different than I'm used to, though. I don't know why it's doing it. Okay. Your life. There we go. Okay. Hey, guys, how are you? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Sandy? Sandy just got disconnected. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So we just started this session with Sandy Casella, and she will join us in a second. So here is uh, Kwong Kwong and Sergei Krasinski, and uh, we just wait for a second for Sandy to join, and uh, we will start our Facebook live stream video. There she is. She's back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm really, I'm really technologically advanced, so when I went to him, Go up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. I'm totally lost here. Okay. <laughs> I hit the leave meeting instead of uh, accept going live. That's what happened. So anyway, um, my name is Sandy Casella. I am in the GTA. So we service the Toronto, Peel, Halton, Hamilton areas. And I'm here live with um, Sergey Kors. Korstansky from Calgary and Huang Chong from Markham. Um, and we're going to talk today a little bit about what is going on with the real estate market and um, what's going on in each respective market. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because I think we're in a bit of a, um, we have a bit of a phenomenon right now where every, almost every real estate market across Canada is up and has low inventory, which in our market here in the GTA has always been, I mean, we've been in in that type of a market for years. But I think the bigger problem now is we'll talk a little bit about this in a minute is that it we would have sellers that were moving out of the province or moving across Canada somewhere else other than the GTA and they could buy there and then sell their house. But now it doesn't matter where you're moving. They're moving into a tight market which has created a bit of a phenomenon here where we have extremely, extremely low inventory. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but I'll give you guys an opportunity to introduce yourselves and what market you're in. So Let's start with Kwong. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Kwong. Hi, Sandy. So um, my name is Kwong Chai, and I work for uh, Home Life New World. And uh, our team, we mainly work in the York Region, GTA, and uh, sorry, Toronto and uh, Durham area. And uh, you know, we've we face some uh, challenges uh, with our buyers. Yeah, absolutely. Sergey, go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, and the market oh. that you're in. No problem. Hi, I'm Sergei Krostansky uh, from Calgary, Alberta. Um, so I'm owner of Comox Realty Group uh, here in Calgary. And uh, um, just want to tell you a few words about our market. Our market was actually super quiet for the last four years uh, to the point when homes weren't moving. And just a year ago, we had about 10,000 homes for sale inventory and we have 2,000 active buyers a month. So we have lots of inventory on hand and not enough buyers everything turned around right now so uh we don't have inventory at all wow. but we still have very well considered to gta and other marketplaces we still have very attractive price point you can still find home detached home with garage for 500 550 thousand dollars wow wow that's crazy wow. Okay, so let, let's talk about these individual markets. And I'm, I'm really curious actually about the Calgary market and, and why um, it seems to be like really, really cyclical with obviously with the oil industry as well. And why do you think sure. that is? Why do you think that more people don't like right now, like where are the opportunities? People are looking for opportunities here, like to flip houses or, or you know, burrs, whatever, buy and sell, or, or you know, just keep them long-term. So why do we, why is it not, do we not get more of that happening out there? Um, talking about Calgary market, I think there are a few parameters. You're right, oil and gas is the main industry that uh, moves province, um, you know, uh, economy. And it was, uh, it was a little bit down. And what we see right now, uh, price of oil is going up. It's the one thing. But I don't think this is something that drives uh, price uh, selling of homes uh, that, that fast and uh, what's happening right now, I think that few things happen. 
uh, first of all, because of COVID, um, people start, start realizing that they can work from home. More and more people working from home now. And when you're working from home, it doesn't really matter if you live in Hamilton or if you live in Ajax or if you live in Vancouver or Calgary. So for many people, it become um, a, a opportunity. So if you can sell house, for example, in Hamilton for over a million dollars, you can come to Calgary and buy two homes. So lots of people start thinking about it and, oh, okay, well, I can get one house for cash and another for rental property. And people start just coming. Like I have, in the last two years, I maybe only had transactions with people from outside of province, maybe three, four transactions a whole year. This month alone, I had 12 from outside of province uh, uh, buyers. Interesting. And, um, that's what's shifting right now. Lots of buyers coming from outside. Like um, um, <laughs> it's very unfortunate for local people because local people still cannot adjust to this dynamic. They still think, well, just in October, I could go and uh, look at homes and come back in the week and put an offer for $20,000 less listed price. And now we need to put 70,000 over over listed price in order to take it uh, or more in some cases. And that's what uh, make local people a little bit reluctant, but uh, it doesn't matter because we have people from Ontario coming uh, from BC, from Manitoba, even in Manitoba was, uh, was quiet for a while, but now Manitoba is selling uh, quite well and people selling their homes there and coming to Calgary is still cheaper here. Uh, I can tell you detached homes, 500, 550,000 still popping on the market. They will be sold same day or maybe in three, five days maximum, uh, but they still are. Uh, the price point went up to 600,000 right now. So this is like, it's a comfortable zone. In 600, they can find quite a few homes here in Calgary. Condo market, it, it's still kind of back. Uh, you can find plenty of condos right now for 300,000. So if you want to bedroom to, bedroom to bathroom condo with, uh, Underground garage, three hundred thousand in good in good location. We can find you a few. Very interesting. I, I'm going to have some questions for you about that in a minute. Kwong, talk about your market, like the area that you service. I know you're a market, but what areas do you typically service, and what's going on in those markets? Well, I, I'll I'll speak about Markham for this one. I don't want to bore everyone, right? So I'm where I'm at uh, in the community that I'm in uh, for a uh, Cornell, right? Like that's it's. Markham generally has one of the highest uh, school ratings, right? And that's why it's always been very, very attractive for a lot of young families. And I mean, if your kid's going to high school, like what better than put, put your kids uh, in a school that's highly rated, right? It helps for university, all that stuff, right? Um, and at Cornell, it's, there's a lot of new construction there, but it's because it's so east, in Markham, it's like in terms of price points, it tends to be the low one of the lower parts in Markham, right? But still, not not cheap in, by any means, right? But even in Cornell, we we uh, we actually with my team, we actually uh, sat down, we did the numbers. So from June, from June until now, right? Basically, the changes in Cornell. So for any house, we're going to just use a range for all freehold homes. Okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak about the condos, but for the freehold homes, they have gone up about anywhere between 27 to 32% since uh, June. Wow. Okay. Yeah, since June. So since June 2020, yeah, okay. Yeah, so since 2021, I mean, and that's, that, this kind of rate, and I'm sure like uh, you experienced it too, this reminds me a whole lot of uh, 20, end of 2016 entering 2017. So that's why, unless something does change here, there's like, I mean, uh, for all the bargain hunters, right? I, I don't know what to say to you other than, if, if there's nothing that's drastic, you probably, there won't be this uh, correction that everyone thinks. And even if there is a correction, it's not going to be no. what you expect. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. something that a lot of, uh, I think uh, that's where the news outlets, the media does a very poor job of it. And <laughs> to explain oh, yeah. to people like that these scare tactics they use, it's very incorrect because even if it goes up, let's say, had you, if you could have bought something easily for 30% uh, cheaper, right? And even if it goes back down, it only goes back down 10%. So you're still on the hook for over 20%. So I don't know, like, I don't know what to say other than that. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I want to talk about that a little bit because sure. um, I wish I had this chart. So we did a chart a little while ago talking about that because people say, you know, I'll wait till the prices to come down. 
The issue with that is for prices to come down, interest rates go up. So interest rates go up, prices come down. So in the long run, you're paying more for the house because the interest rate has gone up. You're paying more per month. You're just paying that extra to the bank. So let's say for argument's sake, you took a house for 800,000 and you bought it now and that, and you wait and that price, that house comes down to let's say, let's say, which never really happens, but let's say it comes down 10% or 15%. The interest rate has gone up. And now if you take the interest you pay over that five years versus what you would have paid in interest at a really low rate, like at 2%, mm -hmm. you've just paid more than that, that $40,000 difference. You paid more than that in interest. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't understand. And that's a big, that's a big issue, I think, because to me, I'd rather have control and buy the house at a lower price as long as as long as you can maintain that house. The fact is you have to live somewhere. So you live in the house as long as you can maintain it with those low interest rates. Like if I if I get a mortgage today at 2% and the interest rates go up and, and I've locked into a five-year rate and the interest rate goes up in a year, it doesn't affect me because I'm not renewing my mortgage. It affects yeah. me when the mortgage gets renewed. That's what people don't understand. And that's what is not ta taught to the public. So yeah. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys will say the same thing as me. Every single person I've ever had that says, I'm going to wait for prices to come down is still waiting. They've been waiting no. a year, two no, years, 10 years, happen. 20 years. It just won't yeah. happen because the other part me... is you're not, you're not going to buy, you're just not going to buy because when prices start coming down, then people get scared and then they don't buy. It doesn't make any sense to me. Absolutely. Let me add to this uh, point, uh, Sandy. Uh, so there are a few components to what you just said. First of all, uh, borrowing money right now in any institution uh, costs you less than inflation. Let's talk for yes. a minute uh, about inflation. So uh, government of Canada saying that our inflation minimum 4% and in some uh, places up to 8%, which is, I think it's a low number. I think actual number is quite higher, but let's, let's stick to 4%. If bank borrows you money for 2%, it, it's better than holding money on banking accounts. Now, what you're talking about, you're talking about buying home with mortgage. And yes, if somebody is selling home in, uh, in GTA right now and buying new new home, um, so this will be, will be a situation where let's say you, you sell one, one house for 1.2 million, buying another house for 1.5 million, so you have 300,000 difference. 300,000 uh, at 2%, we're talking about nothing, right? Yes. And this is the one component. Second. Um, think about what I just said before. Lots of people actually coming to coming to Calgary because of our price point. So let's say uh, you have in Hamilton or in Markham seller that wants to sell their home. They know they will make money. They bought home in 2010, 2008, or 2015. If they sell now, they will make half million or more. It may be a million. Yeah. Now they 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 are worried about selling simply because they don't know where they're gonna go. There is no inventory. But what about coming here to Calgary and getting, you want to get for this money for condos or you want to get one house and two condos or you want to get two homes and you pay cash, like you just on, only need to pay taxes and utilities, that's all. I mean, there's, there's no involvement of any interest rates at all, like if you can do that. And, and so there's a lot of things we can talk about and really, find solution for people who are thinking of selling in your marketplace and scared to do that because they don't know where they're gonna go. They don't want to become homeless automatically. We can find solution. And I know um, Guang wanted to talk about off-market properties that something else can be done and you, Sandy, as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just start that off because all of us, so what I'll say is that all of us on this call, the three of us all belong to the same training program. We all mastermind together and we all, basically run our systems the same way. And we've what we've found is because there's such low inventory as, as a mastermind group, we've come up with a way to get these sellers into property so they're not at risk. And we call that our home hunter service. And what we do is we will find a property, an off-market property for buyers. So with some flexibility there, so then you have time to then go back and sell your house. It's a brilliant program. It's worked really, really well for us. So Kwong, maybe talk a little bit about that as well. Oh, oh, you can go ahead, Sergey. First. Oh, okay, go ahead, Sergey. No, no, yeah, no, no. I just want to say, Kwong, just uh, just uh, tell about off-market property program. 
Yeah, so basically what we do is like for all, all of our clients, we will provide you guys with properties that you can't uh, find on the MLS because most people, we are basically conditioned to believe that that's it. The only properties that you can find are the MLS and that's completely no. not true, right? And no. we can when you work with us, we can definitely help you find properties that you know, that people do want to sell and we just have to give them a bit of a nudge. Sandy, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, so I'll, I'll kind of go into a few more details on what we do sure. there. So, so there's a number of things. So all of us have very large databases and we have sellers in there who are in that position where they want to move, but they're, they don't want to sell right now because they want to find something to buy first. So we can match up the buyers with those sellers in our database. And what we do is just add some flexibility in there. So we make sure that that seller is protected in terms of maybe being able to change the closing date or have a longer closing date because you're not dealing with a, a situation where, where you have a whole bunch of people. So you're able to yeah. kind of massage that, right? We're still mm -hmm. getting market value for the property. You're still getting what you would get on the open market. We want to make sure you're not leaving any money or more or leaving any money on the table. And then what we do is if you have a specific neighborhood that you want to be in or a specific area that you want to be in and a price point, we'll spend our marketing dollars in that neighborhood to find you a seller that is not quite ready to put their house on the market and get and, and match you up with that seller. So it's a win-win for everybody. Sometimes it can be a long chain of events where you have a buyer, seller, buyer, seller, buyer, seller. But as long as everybody understands you know, where we're going there, we can make that chain work very well. And we are able to get our sellers the, po the possibility to buy the property that, you, that they want. Some people need to move. I mean, they're bursting at the seams or you know, they, there's a lot of different things going on in life where people do need to move. And we're just able to match those people up instead of, I mean, let's face it. If you're, if, if you're buying a property and all I'm going to do is do a search on MLS to find you a property, then you don't need me. And I should not get paid for that, yeah. plain and simple. If I'm, not, if I'm not offering you more, then you shouldn't be paying for that. So we, we've developed this program to kind of address that issue. Yeah. yeah. I, I also wanted to add uh, one little bundle thing here. So that's what I find. Like, see, uh, people who are coming right now to Calgary to buy uh, homes from outside Calgary, especially from Ontario, they, they know because it's been already for a while, a couple of years probably in GTA. Uh, find, find a house is a problem. When you find a property, you need to uh, probably put some money over listed prices in order to get it. So um, uh, what I wanted to say though, uh, it's still same frustration, uh, even though people kind of know what to expect when they see the house they like and they still lose it. So what we do actually in our team and my team is, um, 10 agents and myself, 11 people right now. And um, we lease lots of homes, by the way. Uh, we sell them immediately, of course. But uh, we explain to our clients that before we lease our property, we like to do pre-marketing. So we like to attract more potential buyers. On the other hand, this property is not on MLS. Only our VIP buyer clients know about it. So to become our VIP buyer clients, very simple. So uh, it could be, for example, somebody who wants to move to, to Calgary and looking at the other dossier and seeing this property was yesterday on the market, today is not exist. Again on the market and then tomorrow no, no more. And so on. Just if we can share our database of properties that's gonna be listed in two weeks, three weeks, because they're not ready yet, they need to be painted or they need to get photography or what's not, or just the pre-marketing portion that we do for our uh, like uh, marketing system, uh, will help people to get access to those property, look at them, make the decision, think about them, put a proper offer and uh, make a win-win situation. Yeah, it, take, it takes that pressure off buyers to like- Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Buyers right now are buying a house with, and taking less time to buy the house than they would to buy a suit. Let's be honest, like Kwong, you got a beautiful new suit on there. I bet you it took you more time to, to, you know, try on that suit and see how you, you know, all that stuff that you could do where people are making a decision to buy a house quicker than that. So that's kind of stressful. So we want to take that stress away. And that's one way. The other way we take that stress away is give you a buyback guarantee. And all of us offer that. If you're, if you're buying a property, not happy with that property within the first 18 months, we'll buy it back or sell it for free. So there's a lot of ways that we're, we, you know, we put our money where our mouth is to make sure, because I know for myself and I know you guys are the same. 
our relationship with our clients doesn't, doesn't end when they buy the property. That's when it starts. That's when that relationship starts. And we want to make sure that this is a lifelong relationship that we're there to help you every step of the way. So if you buy the, you buy in a market like this and realize that you bought the wrong house, then we'll buy it back or sell it for free. But we also do our due diligence up front to make sure we're getting you into the right property. It's not just, here's some listings, tell me what you want to see and I'll take you out and see it. So um, I know we're getting, let, let's let's do this. So Sergey, um, you have a YouTube channel that is, uh, you have a lot of your listings and stuff on there. So if you want to sh maybe share your contact details and we'll get it typed into the chat there if anyone wants to get in touch with you. By the way, if you're on here live or if you're watching this at a later date, type your questions in here. We're happy to answer your questions, PM any of us, and we're happy to look back to you and answer any of the questions that you have. Um, all of us are on social media, not shouldn't be hard to find TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook. We're all out there. Ask any questions that you have. I love, you know, the tougher the better. I love to answer those questions. So um, if you have any questions, type them into the comments here. We'll, we will answer those questions. But Sergey, maybe give us uh, your contact details, uh, how people can reach you, your phone number. Um, I, I think you should give them your YouTube channel because that, that you have some good information on there and um, <laughs> okay, so uh, first of all, just wanted to add to what you just said uh, about uh, programs that we run. So it's, it's, it's way outside the box. Most agents not just not dare too much to what we can do, but they don't even know about those programs like buy bag guarantee that you just mentioned. Um, and what it does, it reflects at what our clients think about our work. So if you want. For example, go and Google Juan or Sandy or even myself, and you will see what our clients say. We have a lot of five-star reviews simply because people really love our work. And this is how you can find me, for example. There's no brainer. Like you just go on Google, Sergei Krasensky, hit enter, and you will find me everywhere. Like I have, uh, I have my YouTube channel. I have a uh, Google page. I have websites, numerous websites. And, uh, it's uh, su super simple. Sergey Korostensky, hitting Google, push enter, and you, you can contact me. Very easy. That easy, eh? Yeah, Juan, it is easy. Juan, give us some of your thoughts and then how, how people can get a hold of you. Well, um, I'm the same as you guys. Like, we definitely have a online presence. And like, if you ever want to find me, right, just look for Kwang Chong uh, or, or go to kwangchong.com. Or you can just call me directly at 647-299-4062. And I'll more than gladly uh, answer any of your questions. Like, like the rest of us, we, we're here to help, right? And it's not just about uh, making money and collecting a check or anything. Like that. We actually want you guys to be very happy with this purchase because this is probably one of the biggest obligations that you'll have. Fi especially financially, absolutely probably the highest. Unless you purchase weapons or something like that that we're not aware of right but for for houses though for the most part uh this is uh this is probably the biggest obligation and we're, we're definitely here to help you with this okay awesome okay um yeah so my my number is 416-467-8627 um you can dm me here on facebook uh follow me on tiktok as well i give a lot of real estate tips on tiktok and i'm always open to answer any questions on there and um, yeah, Sandy at sandycasala.com as well as my is my website, but you can DM me here or, um, oh, that was my email, sandy at sandycasala.com. Sandycasala.com is my website. So yeah, I think we, we like to, I, I think it's a common theme amongst us that our job is to educate the public, educate our buyers and sellers, educate our clients and let them make the best decision that they can with the information they have. And that way, you know, you're getting, you're making the right decision. And it's, we don't have people who make the wrong decision because if you've got all the information up front, you will make the right decision. And I just can't stress enough the people who say, I'm going to wait for the market to come down. Don't do that. Honestly, like you have to live somewhere, get yourself in the door. It may not be, you know, your dream house at the beginning, but get yourself in the door. There is no better way to build wealth than with real estate because real estate is is you know just a fundamental thing here in Canada and people love to own properties and it, it's a fact that you know it, it's a stability for families so it's I think it's very very important um, so 
we're going to wrap this up in a couple of minutes if you guys have some final comments that you want to make but our um, details should be in there if you have any questions reach out um, i am live every every thursday at 12 o'clock and every i rotate a theme every thursday next week i will be talking to an affiliate which means it will either be a mortgage broker or a stager i believe we have next week and then the following week, I talk about my worthy cause and what we do to give back to the community. And then um, the first week of the month is always uh, with a mortgage broker and we talk about interest rates and what's going on with the market. Any questions that you, that you have about mortgages. So follow me here on Facebook, follow me on TikTok, Casella Homes Real Estate and Instagram, Casella Homes Real Estate as well. Um, I'm building up my YouTube channel uh, with Sergey's help because he's doing amazing there on YouTube. So. I'll be picking your brain about that. But do you guys have any uh, final comments that you want to make before we before we um, jump off here? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for organizing it, Sandy. It's a pleasure to be part of uh, part of this uh, group here and Huang, uh best in 2022. Um, just just do it. I know, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Market market is tough. It's hard to find properties, but. I, I know you, I know how you find them. So nice to see you guys. And again, if somebody wants to reach out uh, to me in Calgary, so I can give you my office phone number 403-456-3688. 403-456-3688. And thank you once again for invitation, Sandy. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Yes, Sandy, thank you so much for inviting me. And it's really great to see you guys. And hopefully uh, we'll see each other live again. And uh, Listen, if you guys have any questions and you're in this part of the town, give me a call at 647-299-4062. I'd love to answer any of the questions that you have, okay? Thanks again, Sandy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.